Hey guys, it's Shamar from ATM Tech, and today I'm going to share with you some of the best apps for math or mathematics. So the first app is going to be Mathway. With Mathway, it allows you to um, type in equations, and it will give basically give you the answer. Um, the good thing about it is it has like a bunch of different categories. You have basic math, pre-algebra, algebra, trigonometry, pre-calculus, calculus, statistics, finite, uh, finite math, finite math uh, linear uh, algebra, and chemistry. So I'm just going to give you a basic one. So let's go to some, maybe some pre-algebra. So I'm just going to type in an equation. So I'm going to do 2x plus 60 equals 100 and we are going to push this little airplane looking symbol and there you go so it gives us x equals 20 and you can tap to be the steps but um, I think you have to have a premium or paid version to do that so you have to sign in so um, that's uh, what you have to do. Uh, so up next is Pocket Mathematics. Uh, with Pocket uh, Mathematics, it has it's like a cheat sheet for different types of <clears throat> math concepts. And basically, when you load it up, you get these different concepts that you can click through. For instance, let's click on the mathematical logic, and it gives you a bunch of um, you know definitions and statements about the different uh, sections of the concept. So as you can see it has logical se uh, sentence negation, conjunction, and uh, a bunch of different other ones. Um, and that's the same thing with all the other all the other concepts. So let's go into functions. And then those are the ones for uh, functions. And um, you don't get too much with this. Um, they do. Um, it says it has chapters, but for some reason, it's not clickable. And um, for settings, um, there's no not much of any settings. You can just change the language, or you can um, <clears throat> add some uh, widgets. To your, to your screen and then that's about it all right guys next is math solver and this is basically this is similar to mathway uh, it's just a solver where you can put in your the info to solve problems so I'm gonna skip the tour so like basically here it's it's the solver it allows you to put in your your numbers to solve an answer so you have three tabs up here. You have graph, where you can graph your graph the equations, um, solver, and then you have a catalog, where you can go in and find the uh, function that you're looking for to solve the equation. So as you can see, they have many of those. So I thought that was useful. That could scroll and look for it, or you can search for it. So it's basically what that does. And um, you can also uh, pay a fee, a little fee to remove ads if you want, but that doesn't really bother me. And they also have a tutorial where they'll, uh, well, okay, this is the tour. So if you want to go through that, it can help you out with that if you're having trouble using it. And um, it has... Okay, let's go to settings. Um, for settings, there's nothing much in settings. Uh, you can enable a default keyboard, haptic feedback, calm, oh, anonymous uh, analytics, beta features, and that's pretty much it for Math Solver. All right, guys. Up next is MathRef, and it's very similar to Pocket Mathematics. It's just basically a big reference for all areas of math. You have algebra, geometry, trigonometry, linear algebra, series, and sequences, differentiate, differ and uh, different, different, differentiation, um, integration, table of integrals, and vector calculus, and so on. Um, so basically, when you click on one, it'll give you some subsections to pick from. Um, we're gonna pick 
let's just pick some pre-algebra and then it'll give you some maybe some definitions some examples uh, about different um, um, areas of the con of the concept and uh, that's about it it's it's very detailed and um, this helped me out a lot And it also has a little bit of a solving calculator in here where if you go to um, tools um, it has like uh, has some solvers it has a yeah, two-line solver quadratic solver exponential solver complex solver and so on and you know when you click on it basically you type in your numbers and um, you click calculate and it will give you the answer and also has like a unit a unit converter down here so that's fantastic as well and then it also has the Greek alphabet in here so I've never had to use that so but it's still pretty cool that it's here and then gives you like a prime number reference a list of prime numbers and then that's pretty much it and you can also search for uh, if you're having uh, difficulty finding things you can also use the search bar to search for it all right guys the last but not least is geometry pad now I have geometry pad plus because it was just that good they do have a free version but I'm gonna be showing you the plus one um, now a geometry pad is basically what it's for is geometry and allows you to draw like shapes and calculate area circumference um, and a bunch of other stuff radius uh, so if you click the pencil looking icon um, it brings up a menu of a li or a list of things um, you can do measurements has a compass a protractor rotation um, text you can add it you can type text for notes or something a uh, point as you can see angle line parallel line par parallel line a uh, perpendicular from a point it has so much things that you can calculate at triangle right isosceles equilateral a uh, square rectangle um, as you can see guys it has like a bunch of stuff on here that could help you out with math um I didn't use this that often but I used this like a few times and it was help it was very helpful to me in those few times that I use it. And I just think this is a great app. So you sh should try getting the Geometry Pad Plus. I think it would be best. It doesn't cost that much. Um so I think that would be great. And also, um let's see, it has this eye thing so you can make things visible or you can lock them. Um, snap to grid, snap to object, snap to tangent. You can save what you're doing. Uh, open, save as, delete, feedback, bound. Um, not much settings. Uh, as you can see, it just has grid line, show axis, isometric dot paper. Um, I don't save tips, lock view, uh, theme. You can change the theme. Uh, decimal places. Vertex style, show intersections, the sun labels, magnifying glass. So yeah, that's basically what you can just do with this one. So I'll try to draw a triangle really quick. Let's draw a right triangle. So basically I'm just going to tap a dot on here. And it will draw that right triangle for me. So. Let's see if I remember how to get the measurements. So I'm going over from here. So area is said so the area is um, seven, and then perimeter is twelve point eighty two. Type it to right triangle, and uh, gives you the position that it's at. It gives you the angle, degree, and so on. So I think this is very cool, and you guys should really try it out. <laughs>